All right, boys, have a seat. We need to talk about three players today. Wilfred Zaha, which is quite interesting. Malanga Sar, which then relates to Fofana, which I know we've talked about before, but stick around as we dive deeper into this. I don't know who I am. My name is Mike, huge fan of the best team in London, which happens to be Chelsea. If you agree with that, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. Now, in today's video, like I mentioned, we're talking about three players, slash maybe a few extra players, but really the main topic, Zaha, Malanga Sar, and Fofana. So let's start with Zaha, which to me is a very interesting link to Crystal Palace for this player. Now, I know Thomas Tuchel has looked at a lot of players through this transfer window, and I have a feeling that Wilfred Zaha probably was not at the top of the list. He was probably a lot lower, and we haven't been able to get all the attacking third players that we were hoping to get. And I'm not quite sure if Wilfred Zaha is going to be the key for us scoring more goals. I think Sterling does quite a good job. And I think Zaha and him would kind of compete with each other. Yes, you could put both out on the wings, whether one's on the left, one's on the right. Sterling could play as a false nine as well. But really, I think Mason Mount is still a better option when it comes to playing out on the wing over Zaha. Now, you could argue that we do need more depth in this position, and I would agree with that now that Timo Werner was sold to RB Leipzig. We still technically have Ziyech, but most likely he will be on his way out. Pulisic, I'm still not quite sure what's going on with him. And same with hudson Doy, He looks like he's on his way out, too, with a possible loan to Leicester City. So, again, we do need depth in this position, but Wilfred Zaha being 29 years old, I know Sterling is about the same age. So, again, it does beg the question if he can really compete with Chelsea standards because at Crystal Palace, yes, he's been head and shoulders above everyone else. He's been their talisman. But still, at Crystal Palace, there really hasn't been that many standout players besides Wilfred Zaha. So, again, he's going to look so much better. But when he's at a club, say Chelsea, or even just another bigger club, he may not shine so brightly like he is at Crystal Palace. And that could be a massive issue. Now, that being said, though, I'm not – Quite sure what we'd pay for this player, his salary, and all that. If we can get a good, decent bid for him, it does kind of open that gate up or open that door, possibly of bringing him in. But I still am not high for this player because, again, I think we already have better players in these positions. Yes, he does add depth, but still, overall, I don't think he's a great player to bring into Chelsea. Even looking on Twitter, most of the people are saying this is a no. They do not want him. But again, if Thomas Tuchel does see something in this player, it might be good to bring him in. Now, the next player we want to talk about is Malanga Sar. Now, we've already let go of a few CBs. This is going to be our next CB that we're going to let go. Christensen and Rudiger being two players already. But Malanga Sar looks like he's going to be loaned out to Monaco, which I think is a really good step for this player because I don't see him playing too much this season especially with Cucurelli coming to our squad, Chilwell being healthy. I'm not sure if we're going to keep Emerson. Marcus Alonso is most likely on his way out. So again, those players are going to rotate. Trevor Chalba can even play in that position as well, even as Phil Cuetas. So really, Sarah wouldn't even see that much of the pitch at all. It may be FA games. It may be a few cup games, but still, overall, this is going to be a good move for him. He has potential still being a good player, but last season just really proved that he is not, again, up to Chelsea standards, which I just mentioned with Wilfred Zaha. And hopefully, maybe going out on loan can get him a little more credit, more playing time. And hopefully, he can come back and be a better player for us. But again, I don't know what his future is going to be at Chelsea. He might be loaned out time and time again and eventually sold. It's hard to say right now. But right now, he is not the player that we want in our starting 11. But he did do his part last season, so I will give him credit for that. But that does beg the question that if we're selling all these CBs slash Marcus Alonso, that Fofana has to still be on the table for us to bid for. Because if we're getting rid of some of these players, we still need depth as well. And I know I've mentioned this before. Thiago Silva is getting older. Koulibaly is quite old, 31. As Phil Cueta being 32. So these players themselves, I don't know if their legs can last all season long. We do need fresher legs in this position. Now, I know I just said Sar is fairly young. But Fofana is a massive upgrade to this position, which, again, will help our squad, not only depth-wise, but, again, give us this little looking over our shoulder and making sure that we're playing well. Because if Fofana starts stepping up, he may bench Koulibaly. He may bench Asfil Koyte. And, again, having that little bit of pressure can definitely make our team play so much better. And as we saw in our first game against Everton, our defense is going to be our rock this entire season. If things start crumbling in our back line, we are definitely going to see issues unless we start figuring things out in our attacking third, which again, who knows what's going to happen with there. We seem to be having this curse. We can't score a lot of goals. But again, if our defense can say rocks out, keep a bunch of clean sheets or keep games very, very low, we can win a lot of games and grind those wins out, which again, 
may age us a little bit as Chelsea fans, but if we get the win, it's going to be massive. Now, we do have a big game this week against Tottenham, so I have a feeling blood pressure is going to be a lot high for all the Chelsea fans out there. So that is all I have for you today in Chelsea's transfer news. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that, and that is it, and I will see you next time.